Heat shrink sleeving is really useful in many areas of electronics and also for doing other repairs as well. It's used to provide insulation, particularly in electronics, and also keep uh, cables together. Um, if you look at this cable I've got here that I made some while ago, it's a twisted wire pair, and uh, I've used the heat shrink at one end to keep the two sections or two wires within the cable together. And also at the other end, I've used the wire or the heat shrink sleeving to act as insulation. And it can be used to join wires or where wires have been joined. And also it can be used for other repairs as well. You can buy the heat shrink sleeving itself uh, in a variety of uh, formats. This one here you can see has, is white and it's been used as a or it is available as a length and you can also get kits like this which have a, a variety of lengths in them and diameters as well so really really useful. So in this video we're going to look at how to use it and the ways that it can be used within uh, various electronic projects. So here we have a typical scenario when you might want to use some heat shrink sleeving. I've got a joint, a wire that's had to be uh, joined and you want to cover that with sleeving. So the first thing to do is to get some sleeving that actually will slip over the wire and the joint and uh, you just make sure that it'll it'll go over. You don't want it too big otherwise the, uh, the sleeving won't shrink uh, sufficiently. That'll go over. So what we'll do is cut that to length, a little bit of an overlap either end. Um, so that should do there. We'll just cut that and get rid of that there. What we'll do is slide that over the, the joint. So we can just slide that. That's only just big enough, which is in many ways is great. And we'll just move it up to there. Now there are two ways you can shrink the sleeving. The sleeving needs to be at about 125 degrees. There are actually several types of sleeving that you can use, but the most common one is a, a polyolefin, and uh, that's what we got here. And the the two uh, uh, demonst or the, the two uh, items that we had before, or the two se selections of uh, sleeving, were both polyolefin. Now one of the ways is to actually get a soldering iron and to just place it under there. The if you were in a laboratory, then you would have a heat gun but most of us don't have a heat gun like that. The other alternative is to use a, a flame of some sort, and this, this is just a, a lighter for a gas stove, and you can light that and then just run that over, and you can actually see it nicely shrinking around the joint there. And I think that is, uh, shows how, how it's been done. Now be careful once you've done that because obviously it'll be very hot. It needs to get up to about 125 degrees to, to uh, shrink it. Um, and also you need to be careful not to burn the, the shrink sleeving. You can see there's a slight mark on there, but that's going to be fine. That uh, won't have burnt through there. I just played the flame over it very, very uh, lightly. And also you obviously need to be careful not to uh, catch the wires. So that's one example of when you might want to, to use heat shrink sleeving and how you can do it um, without using one of the expensive heat guns that uh, most laboratories have. Another time where you may want to use heat shrink sleeving is for identification. If you've got a, a number of wires in a, uh, some module or, or uh, equipment that you're building, you may want to add idents to both ends. Here I've cut a, a couple of short lengths, but it illustrates the principle quite nicely. So what we'll do is just cut that to, uh, in half for, for one end, and we'll put that, slide that on one end of the wire, slide that on the other end of the wire and it's actually quite a lot easier just to use the, the flame to just shrink that nicely. You can see it shrinking down quite uh, quite well. That's worked quite nicely and we'll put it on the other end and we'll yeah that's shrunk there nicely and for the other wire we'll just put a yellow one on there so it idents it as a, a different wire and you you can do that on either end and you it's very useful because when it comes out of a wiring loom or, or going through a piece of equipment or something like that 
you can very, very easily see which wire is which rather than having to trace things back. And we'll just put that on there. Very often the eye dents are actually a bit smaller, but uh, for quickness, I'll just put the cut one of those samples in half. So now it is quite possible to see which wire is which. You know that the yellow wire goes in at one end and you can check which wire comes out at the other end and obviously blue to blue, yellow to yellow. And when you make them up, you can easily identify them. So that is another really useful use for the, the coloured heat shrink sleeving and, and you can get it in quite a variety of colours. So uh, that's a, another use for it. And the use of heat shrink sleeving isn't just limited to electronics. It can be used for many other things. I've seen applications for repairing spectacles and things like that. And in fact, I've got a pair of uh, sunglasses here and the side, yeah, uh, <laughs> the side arms, the insulation there or the, uh, uh, the, the cushioning there has actually disintegrated. So what I can do is take that off and then replace it with heat shrink of a suitable colour and that will have those repaired and I won't have that horrible sticky end on there which will be a, a real relief for me. One final word of warning, just be really careful with whatever heat source you use. If you use a soldering iron, for example, make sure that it's properly protected in a, a stand and that you turn it off at the end. And also, if you use a flame like I did uh, for the majority of the time, that you don't catch anything with it and that it is well protected and uh, suitably uh, uh, stored at the end. So just be really, really careful with those. So I hope that that gives you a, a good amount of information about using heat shrink sleeving. And if you need any more details, there's uh, other links and other information in the description area. And please don't forget to like the video and also subscribe to our channel. Thank you. Thank you.